So when I started high school, I guess when I was 11, started the new school and I noticed that the school was offering fencing. I used to like reading a lot of fantasy books when I was a kid and thought it sounded pretty fun to have a go. So yeah, I signed up. Uh, it turned out to be run by a really great coach um, down in Adelaide uh, who I ended up working with for six or seven years while I was living there. Then went to uni in Brisbane for five years and then I've now moved to Melbourne. I've been there for three and a half years now. And um, each time I've kept fencing and trained with new people, new coaches, it's actually been really um, important for, for my progression as an athlete, adapting to new situations and learning new stuff. Um, I've worked with great coaches in all places and they've been very supportive of helping me fit into these new, new squads, new environments. And yeah, I think it's actually been a really um, positive thing, um, trying to yeah, develop um, all the time and, and having to adapt and change. I just did it because I loved it and I was never very successful for, for quite a while until I was about um, uh, maybe in my early 20s and um, I managed to win the national championships. Um, and that, so that really um, spurred me on to think, well, if I can win these competitions back home, maybe I can try and um, see how I go overseas. To be honest, the Olympics never has really been a serious goal, um, just because I never really expected to be in a position where it was a possibility. Um, only, I guess, a year ago when I went to the World Championships and managed to um, do pretty well, I made the top um, 96 there in Moscow, and I realised, well, I can actually, I've, I've got to the point where I can beat a lot of these guys now. I guess since then I've been working towards it. Um, I wouldn't say it's the, um, the end goal for me uh, in fencing, but it certainly is uh, pretty exciting to go and, and try and compete for that Olympic spot. I think sometimes we go in with that underdog mentality. We're a bit underestimated by um, fencers from, from traditional fencing nations in Europe and, and other parts of the world. And often that gives us a bit of an edge. And so I guess I've just enjoyed embracing that, that real Aussie underdog mentality when I go overseas. It's getting less and less of a factor now that I've been overseas for a couple of years. But yeah, I think especially at this qualifier, uh, there's going to be a lot of pressure on a lot of people there. And um, I guess it will, it will come down to who can keep their cool the most on the day. I'm working as a full-time high school teacher. I have been for the last three years now. This is my fourth year, year working full-time. It's really tough to get in as much time to train as I would like to. Still haven't got the balance exactly right. I'd love to fit in more training and more physical training especially. Um, but at least the two weeks before the qualifier, the, the school holidays, so I'll get to focus mostly on that for a little bit and, um, and that'll be good. I'm just sort of taking it as it comes and re-evaluating my goals every year. I think I'm getting closer to being competitive overseas, so I feel like every time I go over, I'm getting more out of it. So uh, I think as long as I can keep feeling like that, I'm gonna keep trying my best to, to do well overseas. I would say for young fencers in Australia, just do fencing because you love it. Um, if you don't really enjoy it and you don't really love what you're doing, you're not gonna get much out of it and there's not a lot of point, I think. You know, it's, it's life's too short to do something unless you really enjoy it. And for me, you know, I love fencing. So um, that's what kept me going. Not the success that I've managed to get eventually and I didn't have for a long time, but really what it comes down to is if you wanna to go to training five times a week, six times a week and, and spend all your money traveling overseas for fencing and equipment, um, you've got to do it because you love it and um, the rest will follow.